Leslie likes girls. Of course she does. She's a descendant of Lizzie Borden. What does that have to do with her munching the lawn? It is a well-known fact that Lizzie Borden had a relationship with Nance O'Neill. Nance O'Neill? Who's he? <laughs> she? Nance O'Neill was a stage actress. Her relationship with Lizzie Borden was so intimate that Lizzie's sister Emma disowned her. Oh, shut up. Lizzie Borden is not gay, and Leslie is not gay. Hey, I wasn't passing judgment here, okay? I was just stating fact. Well, Leslie being gay is more of a hunch than a fact, but... Leave Leslie alone. <sighs> oh my gosh, Ashley is naked. This is Bobby Baker posting for the Bobby Peeps website, and I'm on the trail of some hot tail. I happen to know about a bitch and all girl party that's about to go down. Where, you ask? Well, that's for me to know and for you to find out. Tune in later to see me enter the girls' sorority house. That's right, I said enter. <gasps> I feel like something just entered me. Ew, you're gross. You're probably just having a flashback. Something's always entering you. <laughs> to conjure the spirit of Lizzie Borden. That's dangerous, all right? It's seances are no joke. You're so obsessed with Lizzie Borden, Cindy. You tried to conjure Lizzie Borden last year. Boring. Yep, yeah, but this year, we have a descendant of Lizzie Borden in this very room. You guys, with a blood relative of Lizzie Borden sitting right in the center of our circle, something is gonna happen, I just know it. We'll be able to communicate with Lizzie. Lame. Boring. Bad idea. Okay, it's Cindy's turn. And if she wants us to conjure up the spirit of Lizzie Borden, then we're doing it. Okay, let's all uh, get in a circle and hold hands and Leslie, you will be in the center of the circle. Come on! I dare you all. Move it, ladies. Have I said this is dangerous? Only a hundred times. Uh, have I really said something a hundred fucking times? Or that, that's insane. That's, that's implying that there's something wrong with me. Are you saying there's something fucking wrong with me? D. Okay, everybody join hands. Concentrate. I call the name of Lizzie Borden. Lizzie Borden, appear to us. Show us a sign. Lizzie Borden, your descendant, Leslie Borden, calls to you. Call to her, Leslie. Do I have to? Come on, it's not like something bad is gonna happen. Lizzie. Louder. Lizzie Borden, come to us. Come on, Lizzie, we want to talk to you. Talk to us, Lizzie. 
Did you really butcher your father and your stepmother, or did someone else do it? Some think it was your maid, Bridget Sullivan, or your uncle, John Morse. Talk to us, Lizzie. Appear to us. Clear your name. I told her that. Show yourself. <laughs> Leslie, why did you scream? I felt something touch me. We're done with this. No, no, okay. Mallory, your turn. Truth or dare? I dare us all to drink. <sighs> now you're talking. Mm -hmm. I've got the good stuff. <laughs> Do you think that someone like me could get into college? Do you think that I could join your sorority even though I don't go to college? Do you think I'll die before I'm 30? Yeah, does your sister know you're here? Don't tell Amanda I'm here, okay? She doesn't know? Of course she knows. How else would I get in? But Don't tell her, okay? If she knew that I knew and I didn't tell her, she'd be pissed at me. Mm, I'm telling, you said the P word. Who are you gonna tell? I don't know. What are you gonna do for me if I don't tell? I don't know, what do you want? How about a kiss? A big, long, wet one. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah! I don't want the kiss. That's, that's kind of gross. I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't see you. <laughs> Vanessa? What did I do? Drinking kinda calms me down a bit, you know? I have some anger issues, so I actually like to drink, but how about you? What? Lizzie Borden took an axe, gave her mother 40 wax. When she saw what she had done, she gave her father 40 wax! I dare anybody to get in my way! Freak! Are you okay, Leslie? I'm fine. Why were you swinging around that paddle like that? Are you off your meds or something? I don't take meds. Why did you save the Lizzie Borden rhyme? I don't know. Did you guys know that's actually a rope skipping rhyme that children used and it, it dates back to the 1930s? <laughs> Party time! Can you get some glasses and hand that out? Actually, I'm leaving. Uh, this was your dare. You know, whatever, more for us. Hey! Nice try. Okay, try not to pick on Leslie. Ugh. I heard that you wish to speak to me. Not speak, pray. Ezekiel 2811. The Sovereign Lord says, You were the model of perfection, full of wisdom and beauty. You were blameless in your ways from the day you were created till wickedness was found inside you. Through your widespread trade, you were filled with violence and you sinned. So I made a fire come out from you and it consumed you and I reduced you to ashes in the sight of all who were watching. Did you read that verse because you believe that I have sinned, Mrs. Borden? I prefer that you address me as mother. All right then, mother. Are you concerned with sins that I have already committed or that I have yet to commit? I read that Bible verse because your father asked me to. Now I have work to do. As do I. Are you sure you're okay, Leslie? Okay. I won't ask again. Let's have a toast. Two sorority sisters. May we all graduate. May we all get rich. May we find love. And most importantly, 
May we all take no prisoners. Okay. Yeah, no prisoners. <laughs> for disaster. I am not taking another drink until I know we have an escape plan. Okay, fine. Follow me. Get it? In case of emergency, use this axe to break the so what, we're supposed to use this axe to break down the door in case there's a fire or something? Yeah, that's the plan. So are you ready to drink or what? I'd rather not. You don't have a choice. Because you're one of us. I've never felt like one of you. Listen, our sisters went on this supposedly amazing spring break and left your sorry lame ass here. So I would say that, like it or not, you're one of us today. you get in the house? Does Amanda know you're here? Did you see a guy in the basement? I guess that there is such a thing as stupid questions. Seriously, Vanessa, what's going on? Nothing. I've been here for a while, and Amanda knows. Amanda is not going to sit around playing truth or dare in her nighty while you wander around the house. She's wearing a nighty? Is it the one with the pink flowers or the one with the dead kittens? Oh wait, those are my nighties. Do your parents know you're here? Hey, stop asking so many questions. I'm gonna take you to your sister. Look, I'll let you go if you go see Amanda. She's in the living room with her other sisters. I'm her only sister. I mean her sorority sisters. Sure, I'll go see her, I promise. <laughs> Are you down here? If you're trying to scare me, you're not getting any. Valerie. Okay, this better be you, not some freaky ghost. Sexy, baby. Happy birthday, babe. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love drinking cake. I knew I could turn you to the dark side. It's so wrong, and it's so bad, but right now I don't care. Okay, you two are consuming a disproportionate amount of alcohol to body weight, which makes you annoying, disgusting drunks. Mm, at least we are not know-it-all drunks. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, maybe we should give Ashley a turn before she passes out. Ashley, what's it gonna be? Truth or dare? Uh, let me think. Make sure you don't dare me to sing anything but that. Ugh. Oh, I can fall for that. Everyone knows you love to sing. No, I don't. Really, I don't, okay? So please, do not dare me to sing. It's not gonna work. Psst. All right, I got it. Truth. What happened to your sister, Vanessa? 
What do you mean, what happened to my sister, Vanessa? She's like crazy, right? You know, I don't want to talk about this. Oh, no, 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 no. This is truth or dare. Yeah, you made us all play, so you owe us the truth. I said I don't want to talk about it. I had to go through that creepy Lizzie Borden thing. You don't get a free pass. Okay. Here it goes. This happened a few years ago. I was at a party. My sister was in the basement. She was listening to music and doing her homework. She didn't hear it happen. Mom? Vanessa saw my parents murdered, and it changed her. What about you? I mean, it was difficult for me, but I learned to live with it. Did they ever find out I did it? No. That's not true. What's not true? I know who did it. <laughs> Lizzie Borden killed your parents. Are you trying to joke about my parents' death? No, no, no. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know why I said that. This game is a total buzzkill. Can we just dare two chicks to make out already? We should get Mallory to do it. Where is Mallory? She should be back by now. Yeah, if we have to play truth or dare, she has to play. Right, someone should drag her ass back here. I'll do it. I'll go. Vanessa, what are you doing here? Why isn't the only thing everyone asks me? Isn't anyone happy to see me? Have you seen Mallory? No. You're sort of like me, aren't you? What do you mean? Something's inside you. I'm sorry about your parents. I swear I didn't kill them. We're all gonna die. This is Bobby Baker, recording for the Bobby Peeps website. As promised, I'm about to make my way inside the sorority house. There's an old door in the back and it looks pretty freaking old. If I can't pick that lock, my name's now Bobby Baker, peeping thrill maker. Once inside, what awaits me? There's a slumber party going on, fanboys. What more need I say? My parents were killed by an ex-murderer bomb. I'm sorry, okay? 
Somehow Leslie got it out of me. Where is Leslie? It seems like she's been gone a while. Time appears to slow down when you're attending a party that has no male company and two of your sisters consume the majority of the alcohol. <laughs> but there's still some left in this one. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing! I think I heard something. I don't hear anything. What is it you thought you heard? I don't know, someone yelling faintly? Faintly yelling? Are you making fun of me? Not remotely. Not really. No, no, not. Not making fun of you. We need more booze. Coming. I'm, I'm getting it. Just seconds away from pussy heaven. Ha! <laughs> Yow. Showtime. More from your beloved Bobby fanboys. Check this out. I found a door, but it's locked from the outside. Now what could be in there? Maybe some perverted sex-starved sorority sister that they're holding captive. Maybe when I get in there, she'll ravage my body. Let's find out. <laughs> my boyfriend we have to get out of here seriously it's Lizzie Borden we have to go warn the others Lizzie Borden didn't she die like a hundred years ago <sighs> oh no I'm hearing things again and I'm talking to myself again If there's really a killer here, shouldn't we try to be quiet? You'll try your cell phone? I don't own a cell phone. Right. And you expect me to believe that? I'm more of a web guy. Hey, did I tell you I have my own website? Okay, we need to get out of here. We need to find reception. Hey, Leslie's back. Now we can play more truth or dare. Fine. Janice, your turn. Goody! I, I dare Leslie and Ashley to make out. That would be so hot. <laughs> I told you I would end up making out with a chick. Doesn't anyone want to know how Mallory's doing? Oh, I went looking for Mallory. I couldn't find her anywhere, but the back door was open. So much for being locked in here. Yeah, does this mean we can all leave now? I closed the door again. It's locked. Sorry. 
wonder how Mallory was able to get it open. Forget about leaving. Forget about the door. We're locked in here for the weekend, and we are playing truth or dare. So, the dare is that Ashley and Leslie make out. Okay. <sighs> okay. Awesome! Do it again! <laughs> did your dare. We kissed. So it's someone else's turn. No, I dared you to make out. Totally, she did. I can't make out in front of you guys. Make out, make <laughs> out, make out, make out. Come with me. Website. No. Good. Because I'd hurt you. Seriously hurt you. I can see the camera. Keep it off. Why don't you want me to film you? You're, you're very hot. You'd be very popular on my website. And what's your website called? Tell me. Poppypeeps.com. You look like one of those guys who lives at home with their mother in the basement. No, that's not true. It's, it's not her basement. Not, not exactly. I have my own room. It just happens to be in her basement. Loser. Why does it make me a loser? Because I live with my mother. Don't you love your mother? Yeah, I love my mother, but I'm not going to live with her. And if you live with her, would that mean you couldn't love her anymore? You couldn't look after her? You, you couldn't make sure that she's happy in her later years? You know, the ancient Indians, they live with their parents till the end. It, it, was, it was an honor. It was a sign of respect. I can't get any signal. I need to get higher. Can you lift me? Uh, bad back. Oh. oh, I'm gonna go on the ladder. Got it. That's disgusting. Yeah, if we didn't know better, you'd think she was getting chopped to pieces. sit around all night and watch how easily Janice gets wasted? No. Let's keep playing. Fine. D. Your turn. Amanda, the truth. Was that story you told about your parents real? Yes and no. Our parents were killed, but we were adopted, so wasn't really our biological parents. I don't know them. Oh, so sad. I did look him up once. My last name was O'Neill. Oh, didn't you ever want to meet them? Eh. You know, Vanessa was only a baby, but 
I was two years old, so I have a few memories, and they're kind of enough for me. Okay. You may recall that I mentioned that Lizzie Borden had a relationship with Nance O'Neill. Wouldn't that be something if you were a descendant of Nance O'Neill's and Leslie was a descendant of Lizzie Borden's? Like a love child of Lizzie Borden. Amanda cannot be a love child of Lizzie Borden and Nance O'Neill for any number of reasons. First of all, their gender alone would prohibit such a consummation. Dude, just enough already, okay? You don't know any of this shit, you're just making it up. No, it's true. Look it up. Lizzie's sister Emma shunned Lizzie because of her relationship with Nance O'Neill. Or maybe she shunned Lizzie because she hacked up their parents. No, that's not the case. Lizzie and Emma remained cordial after the death of their parents, so obviously Emma did not believe that Lizzie was the culprit. It was Lizzie's relationship with Nance O'Neill that ended up being their divide. So, do you think you could be? Could be what? A descendant of Nance O'Neill. If Lizzie did murder her parents, then Nance probably knew about it, and yet still she had a relationship with Lizzie. A relationship? Oh, God, I think I liked you better when you didn't drink. You know something about your biological parents, don't you, Amanda? No. I don't! You know what? It's getting really late, so we need to go find everyone. Well, we don't all need to go. Just send Janice. That's a great idea. Why me? Janice, go find Mallory, Ashley, and Leslie. Yes, sir. <laughs> the piano and I tried I I really tried but I just didn't like it it was just so hard to be perfect do you still love me sure I still love you oh I got oh you are not my mother you're Amanda's retarded sister. I'm not retarded. I'm mentally imbalanced. Big difference. Besides, no one uses the R word anymore except for ignorant, offensive people. <laughs> what are you talking about, retard? I'm serious. Don't call me that again. Well, what are you going to do if I use the R word again? I'll kill you. I need to look for my sisters. They, you know, kind of sort of disappeared. Do you think you can help me look for them? Sure. Oh. You wouldn't really kill me, would you? Should we just get it over with and dare Amanda to sing something? <sighs> yeah, she'll be hurt if we don't dare her. Maybe we can just dare her to make up some song about Lizzie Borden. Amanda, you hearing this? Lizzie, I thought your father told you to get to work. I need to talk about something, this time without reference to the Bible. There's no discussion we could have that would come without reference to the good book. <clears throat> this is very difficult for me, but I see now that it's something I need to talk about. It's about men. Choose your words carefully. I don't care for them. Women. I prefer to be with women. Stop it. Stop right now. I just need someone to understand. You disgust me. As soon as your father gets back, I will tell him of this. He will deal with you. Do you understand me? He will deal with you.
What I do on this day is only the beginning. Lizzie, what are you doing with that axe? Vengeance to those who judge me. Ah! No, is everything okay? <sighs> yeah. I think I just fell asleep. But this party is so exciting. <laughs> yeah, what'd you dream about, Amanda? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Oh, come on, we need something to keep us up. Did you dream about Jason? You're gonna think I'm crazy. Oh, too late. <sighs> Fine. I dreamt about Lizzie Borden. I hope this isn't a sign. We should have we should have never done that seance. We just talked about Lizzie Borden, so this is logical. What happened in the dream? Lizzie was trying to tell her mom that she was a lesbian, and then her mom freaked out, and she killed her with an ex. See? Logical. I was just talking about Lizzie Borden's relationship with Nance O'Neill, and your mind made the transference. It's interesting, and I suppose it's possible. What's possible? That Lizzie Borden murdered her parents because they were disgusted by her sexual orientation. That sounds ridiculous when you say it out loud. Dreams are powerful. I hope this doesn't mean something. Like what? We conjured up the spirit of Lizzie Borden and now her lesbian ass is haunting our sorority house? <laughs> okay, all right, it's my turn. Uh, I dare you to sing something about all this shit. <laughs> Careful, not many words rhyme with Borden. <laughs> okay. All right. Lizzie Borden's like no other. Took an ax and killed her mother. Technically, it was her stepmother, but I'll allow it. Carry on. We tried to conjure up her spirit, but I guess she didn't hear it. Must be out copying a field on her dyke friend Nance O'Neill. Dykeish like a prison war. Anyone in here? Ooh, you are creepy. What is wrong with you? How should I know? Maybe my mother dropped me on my head when I was a baby. Your mother's dead. Amanda said she was murdered. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh, wait, um, I heard on a show that um, uh, crazy people have insight about love. Um, do you know anything about love? Maybe. It's just that all the sorority girls, they can get guys, but I can't. I'm only gonna say this once, so listen up. Relationships are like the most complicated puzzles. And you're like a piece in it, and you fit somewhere. But there are so many pieces that it's hard to find your perfect place. Wow, that's deep. It's just, there's so many puzzle pieces, I don't know where I fit. I mean, do you know? I, I, I try, but it seems like everybody seems to hate me when I'm just trying to do what's right. Love is a battlefield. Are you just quoting songs from the 80s now? Get out. Oh my gosh, I heard that. I'm done helping you. Wait, I, oh, I think I drank too much.
Leslie, where are you guys? blew up my nightie when I was in here earlier. You should keep quiet before I sock you in the mouth. I thought you believed in those ghost things. Not from you, I don't. Why not? Okay, we need to just call 911. So I'm gonna go upstairs and find my cell phone. Right here. Whoever's doing this took our phones. Do you think it's one of us? That's not possible. Well, we don't know where Mallory or Leslie are. It's not them. I think Vanessa's the killer. She's not the killer. Well, it, I mean, why can't it be her? I mean, she was locked up for a while, right? I mean, because she's crazy. Vanessa is not the killer. And don't you say that again. I, I mean, you're not even saying why, so how do I know she's not? Vanessa doesn't have a violent bone in her body, okay? That's why. Okay. Then, then who is it? Obviously, somebody broke in here. I know where the key is. What? I thought we were supposed to be locked in here. No, it's in the kitchen. <laughs> you guys see that? I wasn't scared of a broom this time. <gasps> There are four of us. We can take her. That was Lizzie Borden. She had a fucking axe. There's four of us and one of her. Lizzie Borden, supernatural, she wins. It's a psycho in a dress. It's not a ghost. How do you know that? I don't believe in ghosts. Do you believe in axes? <gasps> Ghosts? No. 
Okay. This is what we're gonna do. Cindy and I are gonna check the bedrooms, and you guys check the basement. I thought we weren't gonna split up. It's not like we're gonna be alone. Oh yeah, cause Janice will be a big help when we meet up with Lizzie fucking Borden. You know what? Let's just meet in the kitchen in 15 minutes. How will we know when it's 15 minutes? What? Nobody has a watch or a cell phone. Just guess. <sighs> We're supposed to go to the basement. I know. Okay, we can check here first. We were already here a few minutes ago. No Leslie, no Mallory, no Vanessa. What, are you afraid to go to the basement? No, I'm not afraid of anything, okay? I'm just I'm working up some anger. It makes me fearless. Do you need any help with that? I'm stuck in a house with a psychotic ghost and a slumber party with no guys while the rest of my sorority is on spring break. And I'm stuck with fucking Janice! I'm good. It is highly unlikely that you're gonna locate a cell phone. Since someone took your cell phone from your room, then in all probability that same person took all cell phones from all rooms. Okay, you're right. Let's go look in the kitchen. This side. What asshole would lock the fucking door? What are you looking for? The keys. Well, where are they? I don't know. I left them right here. <sighs> Leslie? Mallory? Shh, shh. We need to. Shh. I said shh. Fucking shh. Who the fuck are you? You mean I'm not trying to kill me, are you? What are you talking about? Some some chick hacked up another chick with an axe. Lizzie Borden. Lizzie Borden? The killer. You mean that Lizzie Borden took an axe and gave her mother 40 wax chick? Her ghost is trying to kill us. I don't think it's Lizzie Borden. Okay, look, look, we're, we're just trying to find our, our sorority sisters. Okay, how many dead ones did you see? Just one. Her, her name was Mallory. Her, her boyfriend's dead, too. <gasps> We're just gonna have to find another way out. What about the others? We'll find a way out. You go get help while I find the others. What about Lizzie Borden? Okay, you know it's not really Lizzie Borden, right? It's not logical, but it is the best explanation we have. Even if Lizzie Borden was able to come back from the dead, why would she want to kill all of us? Oh, I could come up with a number of theories. Oh, like what? Well, I already told you about my theory that Lizzie Borden had a lesbian relationship with Nance O'Neill. So combine the seance that we held tonight with Leslie being a descendant of Lizzie Borden and then Leslie having a sexual encounter with another woman, Ashley, and maybe all of tonight's events just lined up to successfully bring Lizzie Borden back from the grave so that she could exact revenge on all of us who she feels are sexually repressing her descendants. Well, that's one theory. Would you like to hear another?
not going to find a way out of here. I'm just going to sit here and wait for someone to come and help me. That's not a bad idea. What's your name? D. Hello, D. I'm Bobby from BobbyPeeps.com. You know you look very sexy in your booty shorts there. Would you like to make out with me? Fuck off! Ah, uh, how about just one little kiss? Doesn't even have to be on the lips. Turn that fucking camera off or I'll smash it over your fucking head! Well, sports fans, I think D might be playing for the other team. No, 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 no. Please, don't damage my camera. I, I had to stay for like five years to buy it. You're pathetic. My friends are all dead and you're fucking around for some perverted website? Sorry. What's your problem? You really want to know? Yeah. I've never told anyone this, but I, I guess maybe this is, this is the right time. Go on. Well, I, I live with my mother in her basement, actually. Is this a joke? I'm gay. So... So, so what's with the big come on and the pervy website? My mother doesn't know. It'd break her heart. She knows about the website. In my heart, I know she can accept me being a pervert as long as it's women that I'm lusting after. That makes no sense. It, it does. I don't have a girlfriend. I don't think I could get one. Oh, uh, oh, I get it. Your, your, your website's like your beard. My what? Your, your beard, your cover. Right. Am I a, a terrible son? I, I don't want to die knowing that I'm a terrible son. <sighs> Do you love your mother? More than anyone. And were you there for her whenever she needed you? Always. Then you can die a proud son. Only we're not dying tonight. <sighs> so you don't think it's Lizzie Borden? I don't know what Lizzie Borden looks like, but the killer I saw did not look like a ghost. Have you ever seen a ghost before? No. Have you? We should keep quiet. Stop! These windows are sealed shut! Okay, we'll break the glass. There are bars outside these windows. Not in the living room. Come on. Okay. Brat? What are you doing here? I ran away from home. Can I stay with you for a while? You should confess something. It's good for the soul. Like what? I don't know. Nobody's perfect. Just get something off your chest. Like your bra. My bra. I I'm joking. But seriously, what keeps you up at night? My anger. You angry? No. It's true. God, I, I get so mad. I, I don't know why. I, I just, I just can't control it. Have you tried anger management? Yeah, I have. Uh... Give me some techniques, countdown, that sort of shit. Sometimes Amanda can calm me down with the counting, but I don't know, something just, just burns inside me. 
G give me an example of something that makes you angry. Okay, so, so say I, I'm driving and, and someone pulls in front of me. I, I flip him off, honk, and pound on my horn. No one likes to be cut off. No, I mean like pulls in front, pl plenty of space, and uses his indicator. I, I, I just, I, I get still get so pissed off. Like I just want to kill him, and and that's not right. I just, I just can't shake it. Something I do when I get upset, and this, this might sound silly to you. I try to channel my anger into to happy thoughts. You're right. You've tried it? No, you're right. It sounds silly. Just, just forget it. No, go on. Okay, so, say someone cuts me off in traffic and I get upset. Then I just think about my mother, how she made me brownies last night. And my mother loves me. And the, the anger just kind of goes away. That sounds pretty simple. Come on, Bobby, keep up. Bobby? Oh, shit. Before you kill me, I, I need to confess something. I, I've, been, I've been ashamed of it for so many years, and, and, and I shouldn't have been ashamed of it. My entire life has been a lie. I'm gay. And, and, and if I had it to do over again, I wouldn't be ashamed. I would be proud of it. I would embrace it. I would shout it from the highest mountaintops. Leslie, okay? I'm not pleased by the fact that you have not dated at this late age, let alone married. I've tried to explain, but... You're insolent! I have a good mind to leave my assets to other family members. One who followed the norms and show respect. What say you? There is nothing I can say that you wish to hear. So instead, I will allow my true feelings to stay inside of me until one day they're released in a sea of rage. Leslie? You know you can't stay with me. Don't you love me? Yes, of course I do. But this is my shot to go through college. I'm taking every psychology course I can to learn how to take care of you. We talked about this, but I need your help now. It's only gonna be a couple more years. Years? Years? What? Years? Years? Are you kidding me? Years? Are you gonna settle years? down? No! Okay. You know I could kick your ass, right? So kick my ass. Brett! Somebody just walked through this house and killed Ashley. We need to stay calm. Do you understand me? I know she tried to kill me. <sighs> what? You saw her? Not exactly. She swung an axe at me and I ducked and ran. I saw what she did to Ashley. <clears throat> Why didn't you say something sooner? Who cares? <clears throat> okay. If I let you go, are you going to behave? Are you? <clears throat> <clears throat> I was prepared to provide assistance whenever you requested it. Are you sure you didn't see the killer? I didn't see her. Then how do you know it was a female? I think it's Lizzie Borden.
Certain are Leslie and Mallory. Javi told me he, he saw Mallory's body, and and I saw Leslie walking around. Where did you see her? Upstairs. Okay, where is she now? I don't know. I, I lost her. And here's the weird part. She was naked. Naked? Maybe she was in shock. Okay. Here's the weirder part. I think she touched my forehead and I flashed on something about Lizzie trying to tell her father she was a lesbian. Are you stoned? I thought it was Lizzie Borden too, but it's not. I saw her this time. We all saw her. We all saw Lizzie Borden. No. I know her. You all know her. Who is it? It was... I wanted to kill her! Why did you stop me? Your sister is dead, okay? That, that, that thing, it, it's a ghost. Uh, how can we kill it? It's already dead. I don't think it's exactly a ghost. What do you mean? When we called Lizzie Borden spirit, she needed a body to be able to inhabit if she wanted to be able to do things physically. Oh, things like killing us? Most likely, it's Leslie. Leslie? It looks like a zombied out Lizzie Borden. It doesn't look anything like Leslie. Vanessa didn't think it was Lizzie Borden. She, she was about to tell us who it was. And, and Bobby said he didn't see what I saw. He didn't see Lizzie Borden. So Lizzie Borden has possessed Leslie and all those who were in the circle conjuring up. We've been enchanted. Meaning we see whatever she wants us to see. The decayed face of Lizzie Borden. Oh, that doesn't make sense. Why would anybody kill her? Why? Maybe Lizzie doesn't want us to know that it's Leslie. Right. We, we, we can talk to Leslie. I mean, she can fight this. We can stop Leslie, but, but not Lizzie. <gasps> Leslie! Who's Leslie? I saw her go up the stairs. I lost her. Okay. We'll just check every bedroom then. What are you doing? We have to defend ourselves. So what, are you gonna stab Leslie? Yeah, if I have to, okay, she killed your sister. No, Leslie did not kill my sister. That bitch Lizzie Borden did. You can't hurt Leslie. You know what? Why don't you just go outside and go get some help and we'll see if we can find Leslie. Okay, how am I supposed to get out? There's rumored to be a loose window in the basement. I suspect that's how Vanessa and Bobby got in here in the first place. No, no, forget that, all right. Come on, you guys are gonna help me. Tie this, you're gonna lower me out the window. Okay, this is 
not a bad idea. Well, anything gives us a statistically higher chance of probability of survival than staying in this house with Lizzie Borden. It's you, okay? And we can help you. We are sisters, and that should mean something. Think of everything that we've been through together, okay? We're sisters. And Lizzie, I am part of Nance's family, and you loved Nance. And Leslie is part of yours, and that should mean something. So, please put the ax down. Now leave Leslie with us, because we will accept Leslie the way we would have accepted you. Lizzie Borden took an axe and gave her mother 40 wax. And when she saw what she had done, she gave her father 41. Say that stupid fucked up rhyme again and I'll hurt you. I'm good. How do we get out of here? <laughs> 